more ropes, colorful ropes, colorful shapes. Here we come. here. So, how many people are holding on to ropes? Let's do, let's do a count up. So give you the number for yourself. One. Wait, six. Uh, <laughs> so, you, we, we're merging. This is uh, <laughs> twins, but joined at the hip. So, there are six people, five normal, and one mutant twin there. And so, how many vertices do we have here? Six. All right. We have six people. Amanda, we have left one hand with the material right. And now let's count how many spaces we have. These are triangles. How many on top? On top? How many on the bottom? How many total? Eight. So we got six vertices plus eight faces. How many even dimensional things, vertices, and faces? Six plus eight. Six plus eight is fourteen. Now let's count how many er, how many edges we have. So edges are going to be like this, one dimensional. Thing. So do it in an organized way. Well, well. So look at the pattern. So we have six vertices, eight faces. That's got fourteen. Twelve edges. Now we can move this to something else. Let's start with the blue. Yes. Dude, did you hear that? Four times three equals twelve. That's the way to count. We like Lazy is good. So let's take these puppies and start pulling the blue ones, just the blue, apart like that. one person. Six. How many hands does each person have? Even our mutant twin has two hands here. And so six people, two hands each. How many vertices? Well, yeah. Two feet. These are hands. Mutants too, right? And so 
now we've got 12 vertices. Let's see if we can count the faces. And those of you in the audience, all non-mutants have one of these puppies. So take your two hands like little spiders and you can put them together like this, yes? Where you interweave your fingers and your um, thumbs. And I don't have a pen on me. No, oh, pencil's not for it. needs to be a pen. Felt pen is good. Right. So imagine you have a felt pen. Sure. So we put a dot here, we put an your fingers like this, we put a dot here, we put dots on each one of your fingers here all the way around, like this. We pull your hands apart like that, so your hands are, you know, interweaved like that. Okay, so you've got a back of a hand, a back of a hand, you've got five fingertips here, five fingertips here. How many dots do you have on your hand? How many dots? Twelve. Yeah, agree. I, we could, I don't know whose pen I stole, but <laughs> we can start putting dots on people's hands. So just like we have six people, two hands each, twelve vertices. Each person has twelve dots with their hands. If you look, you've got triangles. You've got five triangles coming out of this dot. You've got five triangles coming out of this dot. In here, more triangles, which there are triangles that have a base on the bottom of each hand coming up to the fingers in between. And so we call these things diagonals going up. And there's also triangles that have bases this way that point downward. So we can count how many triangles we have there to count the number of faces. How many faces in this hand? How many faces in this hand? How many faces pointing downward with the triangle bases here and here? Five. How many pointing up here? So how many faces do we have total? Do you agree that that's the same configuration here? Each hand has one. Everybody. One, two, three, four, five. So how many faces does this thing have? Twenty. So a name for twenty is icosa. This is called the icosahedron. Okay. How many edges does it have? Can you count the edges? Three times something. Right, so there's a 
enough to get bigger or small. You have 60 ends of that system. This guy said he had 30 ends, and he said they were at 120. Which one makes more sense? Think about this. Two ends of edges, how many edges? Wait, the honey was the other way around. Yeah. So how many edges? 30. 30 edges. Yes, let's pull this tight. Back up a little bit. Now we need four more volunteers. So let's try to find things that are nice and symmetrical. I'm sorry. So now notice that right in front of you has have blue, green, and green and red. I'm doing something wrong here. So blue, red, and green. That would be fair between blue, red, and green. So let's grab a blue, red, and green with one hand. And whoa, here I see a cover. Maybe, oh. are you comfortable? And we're going to use hands that fit. How does that fit? Use one hand, pinch those tight on that hand, and get up to that. this over. Red, green, blue. Here. Here I see a red, green, blue. Whoops. Hold those tight. Here. You hold those in one hand. And here I see another red, green, blue. Here. So we'll get, let her. Here. We'll get, we can get you in. Oh, 
mean like, like an so angle? There's like a corner is like this thing. Yeah, right so there. there's a corner. Three angles on each hand. How many hands did we say there were? Twenty and three corners for each hand. So how many corners do we have? Yes. And how many corners does each face have? And so how many faces do we have total? Twelve. Awesome, dude. We have twelve. Sixty divided by five faces. So we make another six? So the original six people let go and the four new people who are holding the three triangles hold on. So you're holding on. You're holding